Hello there guys, what is going on? Hester here, welcome. Today we're gonna take a look at yet another deck and I got a really hated one for you guys. Hopefully you're not gonna hate me for this and there's not gonna be a lot of dislikes for this deck, but unfortunately it's really strong on the ladder right now and a lot of people are playing it, so uh, I wanted to showcase this. Maybe some of you are are gonna play this and, uh, you know, get a couple of cubes out of this. And, uh, there's the leader and as you know, probably a lot of people are using it right now on the ladder. And it is strong, it is a great finisher, it can give you the advantage that you need, um, especially with the decks uh, that are dropping a, a lot of cards on the board. If you set up, for example, Dinosaur at one location uh, and you play the leader later on, you most probably win in most of cases. But not necessarily, not necessarily. It, it depends, it depends on the situation as well. It's not that this deck is like super overpowered and it's giving you like 100% win rate. It's not like that. It can be countered. It can be countered by uh, some locations. It can be countered by Cosmo, because uh, you have a lot of unrevealed cards here, like Moon Girl, White Queen, Arrow, and Leader, obviously. So um, it's not like really super OP, but it's strong. It's definitely strong, and uh, it got me a couple of ranks. I'm still experimenting, so I'm not like um, trying hard to get to Infinite this season. But yeah, let's see how this works, guys. Let's see if you like it. Uh, there is the, you know, the still arrow, so sometimes you don't have to play the leader, you don't have to be the, uh, uh, the dirty guy and do that. Okay, this is a pretty okay-ish hand. Would be better to get, like, Mon Girl as well and the Dino. Okay, this is not good, in fact. This is really not good. Okay, let's play the Scorpion here. Ooh, there's Lizard. Okay. Alrighty, that makes sense. I'm thinking about dropping Mr. Fantastic here. Buffing that location. I think it's gonna be fine. We definitely have to play uh, four cards here to, um, to get that ongoing. Um... Do I really have to play in the Moon Girl right now? I mean, we can draw into our guy. We still have five cards in the deck. We can draw into our guy, Dinosaur. But what if we don't do that? What if not? What if not? Hmm. We could also go for Moon Girl, Quinjet, and then dropping a couple of cards. Leader would be five as well. Hmm. Well, let me drop the Moon Girl, I guess, first. I'm feeling in my hand here. So maybe that's not the best idea, but... We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, let me just leave some space here for the leader. Let's see if that works. I think we can snap just to, you know, make him feel uncomfortable. I'm gonna play the leader probably over here. Oh, wow, there's a scorpion dropping. That's not good. Juggernaut, uh-oh. Yowza, they're all, they're all going there. Okay. I mean, it's fine, I guess. So what do we get? We get a white queen. I think the leader coming down here is, is the way to go. I feel like this is the way to go. We can still play Agent 13 here. Nothing else coming down there. He's gonna definitely play one more card here, right? Okay, let's see how it goes. Boom. Okay, arrow coming down here. So this is one, hopefully. 
Leader is not giving us anything, but we win those two locations. Well, the guy, this is like quite lucky with the arrow. There we go. Yeah, that was a kind of lucky game, to be honest. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Ooh. We got a nice amount of quests. There's this nice variant that we have to level up, definitely. Okay, let's jump to another game and see how this works. Yeah, as you can see, the leader <laughs> is not necessarily winning your game. Sometimes you can get shenanigans, especially if arrow, but... That worked bad for our guy. Okay, it doesn't really matter where we drop it. Let's drop it here. Double ongoing effects, which is nice if we get the dinosaur. It's gonna be one big guy with that buff. Okay. Sunspot. Makes sense. So there's no Killmonger. Our Nightcrawler is gonna live. Oof. Sure is slab. That's pretty okay. Let's go for Mr. Scorpion. Pow! Getting that sweet buff. Oh, there's armor protecting the sunspot. Is that a destroyer deck again? Come on, man. Oh, that's not bad. I'm actually thinking about going for it. Let's go for another agent. Maybe we're gonna play her again and get some decent drops. Okay, ooh, there's the Squirrel Girl too. And Nightcrawler as well, wow. That's pretty weird, I mean, let's snap, it feels... Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> we're all getting Thanos here? Okay. It's not bad. Iceman is okay. But I really want to drop White Queen. I want to see what, what he has in hand. Ooh, okay, so that's the reason. But I feel that we can outplay it easily. I think we should be able to outplay it, am I right? I'm gonna play the leader over there later on, so it gets buffed. Um... Yeah, we have to move this. Okay. Oh wow, there's Electra too. Holy smokes, man. Holy smokes. So we are winning that location. He's gonna play Mr. Buffer right now. I'm sure about that. I'm pretty sure about that. What if he plays Onslaught here? Then it's gonna get problematic for us. We're gonna lose. We're not killing that one for sure. Hmm. I guess we still have to play him. We could play Thanos here and win this location, but then we are probably losing that one. There is no dinosaur. If we had dinosaur, I would have just dropped him here and maybe you know some smaller drop over here well we'll see there's gonna be eight so this is gonna help us here most probably and if we get our buffer as well our units are gonna get buffed oh wow look at that there is oh shit. that's a lot of cards we are gonna get all of them as well. Boom. Is that gonna be enough though? Should be enough. Oh, it's almost enough. Damn, one point off here. That was a close one. That was a really close one. I didn't expect that. I was thinking about the buff. But yeah, you know how it goes. There we go. So the leader got outplayed. It's not necessarily a 100% win as I mentioned to you guys. Let's play a couple of more games. Okay, nice crawler is here. Uh, we could play the agent first. Maybe we're gonna get a two drop. 
Let's drop the agent here. Boom. Okay. That's not bad. Not bad of a drop, but... We're definitely not playing this. There's Mr. Fantastic. I don't want to risk Nightcrawler playing here, but... We can still move it. If we want to. Oh, wow. That's... That's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. What do we do with this? There's a lot of negativity going on. Okay, he's playing Mr. Fantastic there. Yeah, it makes sense, because they are going to move, right? Should have played it here as well. Should have played it here. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. But hopefully double dinosaur is going to be enough for us. They're all gonna move over there. Okay. Alright, there's a buff here. This guy is giving him double buff. There's that guy as well. I mean, I'm gonna move Nightcrawler here. And then we just need another location. I wonder what he's gonna play too. There's probably gonna be uh, America Chavez. Oh, look, look at that. That's a nice variant. Oh, there was a claw as well. Wow. It's pretty unexpected, honestly. Okay, he's going first now. He's going first now. I mean, we could just copy the card that he plays, or we could play it kind of safe. And go for dinosaur here. He's probably gonna play Spectrum, am I right? Looks like he's playing Spectrum. And he's gonna buff all of this. Feels like it. Certainly feels like it. But let me play the leader. This is a leader deck, so we are playing the leader as well. Yeah, he's he's going for the spectrum buff. We're gonna get the spectrum buff as well. And he's winning. Damn. Okay. Nice. What if I played What if I played the uh the dinosaur? We probably would have lost as well. Not sure. Not sure though. Okay, let's play Mr. Quinjet here. There we go, let's drop him over here. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, we can get this Sentinel here, too. The next one is going to be cheaper. Thanks to the Quinjet. Okay, there is Colossus. Oh, okay, that's nice. That's nice to have. I mean, let's drop Mr. Fantastic. He's going to get revealed later. Which is good, there is no, like, for example, stealing. Although he might be playing Rogue here. Oof. It's a nice Nova for Ryan. Dropping Nova for two cards, I mean, it makes sense, right? It's still advantage. It's still advantage you are getting. Okay. Double Dinosaur. Let's see if we can get the points. Let's see if we can get the points. Is he gonna see the card if it's Dark dim Dimension? I wonder. He probably still will see the card, right? Yeah, he will see the card. Yeah, it's kind of funny. 
It is kind of funny. That's a lot of cards over here. Right, let's try it. Let me snap. Let me just snap. There's armor. Okay. So we have way more points over here in that location. Boom. There's another Sentinel getting us, giving us plus two cards. Okay, there's Warpath. To Professor X. Okay. That's weird. So we're winning that one too. Alright, there we go. Double Dinosaur coming down. We don't even have to play the leader. Alrighty. Pretty much a nice finishing game. So, you know, as you can see, it all depends. It all depends on your decisions, guys. But it's definitely fun, especially if, if you're copying something uh, great from your opponent. Sometimes you can get screwed by RNG, but this deck is definitely worth uh, trying out. It's pretty strong, especially, you know, uh, when you're getting along with the cards and you understand which one to play first and uh, you understand your opponent's decks as well. It can get tricky. It's it's not an easy deck to play, for sure. It's not that you're just dropping the cards. I mean, for the double dinosaur uh, strategy, it pretty much is. But if you want to play Arrow, you know, uh, correctly, if you want to play the leader, you have to actually think and and see the options that your opponent might be throwing at you. So uh, yeah, it's worth checking out. The leader is something that you can add to your other decks as well. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but, <laughs> but you know, uh, whatever works, right, unfortunately. Uh, this is another deck that you might be uh, trying out as well with Leech. I might be uh, featuring that in my next video too, because uh, I want to show you guys how this works. But this is going to be probably on Wednesday. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, we lost some, we won some, as usual. But keep on snapping, and I'm going to see you next time.